All right, everyone, so now that we've actually set up our first ad and installed our conversion code and got our uh, $150 ad credit, we're in a good place to start optimizing. So what we're gonna talk about next is how to optimize your ad using site link extensions, call out price extensions, um, and all that kind of stuff that adds basically the bells and whistles to your ad. So what do I mean by that? Well, uh, as I've showed you before, when you start looking at your ad in Google, uh, the site link extensions are the little links below the ad itself. They'll also be like price link extensions. Uh, if you do something like Vancouver Homes for sale, uh, you might see some of this stuff with some people, but um, yeah, you'll see site link extensions. This is one of our students here. Um, we have, uh, it doesn't always show up, but we have price link extensions as well. Um, we'll see if we can get them, but yeah, something like this listings from under 250 K or something like that could be a, a price link extension. Um, so as you can see, the, the market's a lot more competitive when you start going into a more broad search than when you go into like something like foreclosures, we pretty much own that market here. Um, so anyways, just want to show you what that's about is we're going to start adding those extensions and I'll talk to you a little bit about the theory of how we're going to do that. Uh, but basically, okay, so uh, we're going to go into our ad here and nothing's happened because we haven't actually ran this ad. Um, but you're going to go, uh, if you look at ads and extensions, that's where we're going to see the ads we just created, right? Um, then we're going to go to extensions and we're going to add extensions to that. So uh, it's really as simple as this. You click on extensions. So you go to your campaign, uh, you go to your um, extensions here, and you can actually add these on an ad group level or a campaign level. For the purposes of this, I'm just gonna do it on a campaign level. If we're only having one ad in here, uh, you can do that, but you can also click on the ad group and do it. So if, you, if, you, if you've structured it where you have one campaign and multiple ad groups and you want those ad groups to be different, then you can actually add the extensions just for that ad group as opposed to just for the campaign, which will add it to all the different ad groups, if that makes sense. So say, for example, we wanted to add it just to the ad group where that ad uh, that we're focusing on lives. Then you just click extensions and you click plus and you can get a full option of here of all the extensions available to you. Um, the one you're gonna wanna do is site link extensions. The rest don't matter that much, to be completely frank with you. Uh, so if we're gonna focus on site link extensions. I'll talk a little bit about like price extensions and call outs and stuff like that. But for the most part, you're not even gonna need them. What you're gonna wanna do is optimize your site link extensions and that's generally um, all you need to do. So basically what you're gonna do here um, is you can add to ad group or campaign. It'll be default uh, for ad group right here because that's where I actually selected the extensions. Um, so now you can create new, right? So you're gonna go site link text. Now this is what I like to do. I like to do um, new, this is a, an area of Vancouver. Uh, so I like to do something like that. New Kitsilano listings or newest. Uh, I don't think newest is actually enough um, there's enough words you can put in, so I just put new. Um, but you can do descriptions. Now these descriptions won't, most often won't actually show up, uh, but you do something like their search uh, newest listings in Kitsilano, um, listings updated every five minutes, something like that. And your final URL would be whatever your, whatever your URL is. So final uh, ybrhomesearch.com, this is my new website. Um, slash kit Solano. Okay. Now, again, I talk about this a million times, but I just want to say test your URLs. Go there. Make sure that your URL is exactly what it should be. It should say that area. It should have um, the sub area be in there already. So it says sub area kit Solano, city Vancouver. So that's correct. So that when they hit search here, it actually just searches for um, all properties in Kitsilano, which are very expensive, as you'll see. Uh, so um, you also want to make sure that what's showing up below here is um, like new Kitsilano listings. And then you want to give them options to go to other areas on the right hand side. So you want to have like a sidebar there. And this is just how we do have it set up with Real Geeks. Uh, every site's going to be different in terms of what options you have, but it should have if you can do this on your website, a lot of you might not be able to do this and it might just look like this. It might just look like this and you know what, that will actually work. It might just show a list of properties and that's fine. If you have the option to make it really obvious that they landed on Kitsilano in everywhere they can, then do that. Um, so that's the idea with price link extensions, or sorry, site link extensions is you just wanna add uh, options for different neighborhoods. So HTTP, you might actually need to like copy the proper link in here because um, it wants the HTTPS in there. 
So there you go. Um, then you do the same thing for any other sub areas of your community. So this is what I would do is I do my main ad is Vancouver homes for sale is Vancouver property search. And then underneath it, I do sub areas of Vancouver. Um, you can also do site link extensions for other cities around the main city. So if you were like, you know, doing Seattle homes for sale, you might do like some cities around Seattle that you work in and sub areas. You can do that too and have one headline, which is always Seattle homes for sale. And all the site link extensions can be communities and cities around that main city. So you could do something like this. Um, I could do new Burnaby listings. And this is how we set up and it performs really, really well. The other option, which is how I have it set up on Bing, is you can do um, your main ad for each city that you focus in. So say, for example, I wanted to do new Van or Vancouver property search, Burnaby property search. And underneath as site link extensions, I only had neighborhoods. So it's, if, if you did it that way, that's fine. So Kitsilano is a neighborhood. Burnaby is a city. So then I do literally the same thing. Um, search newest listings in Burnaby. Um, listings updated every five minutes. Copy the link over, change it to Burnaby. Test out my URL, make sure that that's exactly what I want it to be. YVRHomeSearch.com slash Burnaby. Boom. Same same exact page. It just says Burnaby instead of Kitsilano. You can literally make it as simple as that. And that's how I would start out is just do site link extensions for neighborhoods or surrounding cities that you want to do business in, that you want to sell in, that you want people to transact in and just add them all. You can add pretty much all of them here for the most part, but I wouldn't get too crazy with it and try to add every place and every area on the planet. Try to stick to your more focused areas. There's lots of search volume traffic out there and I think it's good to keep yourself more niche. Um, so what we do is we have all the areas of Vancouver and then we have just a few surrounding cities, North Vancouver, Burnaby, Richmond, uh, Coquitlam as the other cities. So it is more or less kind of broad um, and that's okay. If you wanna be more hyper-focused, like I've set up ads for people where we just do like North Vancouver and we do areas in North Vancouver and that, and then we have an ad that's specific to North Vancouver and we just run the ad for North Vancouver to um, all North Vancouver pages because that agent that I helped do that focuses in that specific area, okay? Um, so that's price link extensions. So then you're gonna go down, you're gonna hit save um, and your site link extensions will become active. They'll start showing underneath your ad most of the time or a lot of the time. It doesn't show every single time, uh, but when it can show your ad, when you get bid enough high up into the auction, uh, it'll actually show your site link extensions. Um, so the other option for extensions here is um, don't bother with lead form extensions. It's not gonna be super relevant for, for everyone here, um, but that is in beta where you can actually pop up a lead form right on the ad. But generally for that, you have to be giving away something right away, like a you know, PDF or something. Um, but what you can do is you can do a price extension. Um, so these are interesting and we do have these set up. Um, so basically you would say um, price extension item, um, condos, condos under 500K. Now in Vancouver, the average home price is a million dollars, including condos. So like this makes sense for our market. Um, search all search condos, Vancouver condos. Let's say search condos under 500K. Uh, then you might do this. So basically you can go put in a bunch of different options. So you might do detached homes over 1 million. You might do condos under 300K, like condos three to 500K. Like um, it really just depends. Uh, now what you might wanna do here is Uh, put in 500,000 um, and then you'd put your final URL. Now this is important because I'm gonna go home here in Vancouver and I'm gonna deselect homes and I'm just gonna go townhomes and condos and then I'm gonna put my price limit to 500,000 and then I'm gonna search, okay? Then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna change sort by highest price to newest on my search Okay, and that's gonna change the URL at the top. Now you won't be able to see this on this video, but you basically take the um, URL here at the top, whatever it generated, and you're gonna copy that long form URL, which is sorting it by newest, and it's only searching for condos in Vancouver under 500K. And then you're gonna add that as your final URL, okay? Don't worry about the mobile final URL. You can keep that as the same as long as your uh, website is optimized for mobile, uh, you're fine. So um, basically, 
Um, that's how I would set up a price link extension. And when they click on that, it's kind of like a it's kind of like a site link extension. It's just boxier. They show up in a box, so you can do condos under 500k, detached homes over 2 million, or if you're in luxury, you might have some interesting ones there, like waterfront homes over 3 million. Uh, so you could stack what you say. Uh, condos, so you could do like waterfront homes um, over 2 million, and your price could be like 2 million. Waterfront homes over 2 million, something like that. But it'll give you a preview of what it looks like and make sure it looks good. And again, those those extensions will show up underneath your ad when they can, when they're available. Um, and when you're bidding high enough up in the auction, you'll notice that when you search for, for anything on Google Ads, um, not all ads will have price link extensions, uh, right? Some of them will have, um, have them. And I, not a lot of people are doing this in real estate. So you won't see price link extensions very often. Um, here's our ad, but it's not showing that time. Um, I wish I could give you an example right now, but um, yeah, it'll show up basically right underneath uh, the ad as a big box. Uh, and it's really cool when it shows up, a lot of people do click on them. So price link extensions are the only ones I would other I would add a price extension. Uh, I wouldn't worry about, let's just go back here. Uh, I wouldn't worry about any of the other extensions. Um, like there's call outs, which are just like text. Um, it's just a little bit of text as if it's in a description. You can add these, but they're not really like um, links. They're just kind of text. So uh, search homes here, that kind of stuff. So I wouldn't really bother with these. Um, I would just stick to your site link extensions and your price extensions. I think those are going to get you the most traffic. Those are going to get you the most engagement, the most clicks. And at the end of the day, that's what it's all about is giving people options right inside the ad. Uh, to go to specific areas of your website before they even visit your website. And it just improves the continuity of everything, right? If they search for homes for sale in Vancouver and a, and a price link extension pops up for condos under 500K in Vancouver, you're like, oh, if someone's actually looking for condos under 500K, they might click that right away and then they'll go to a search for condos under 500K and they'll be like, oh, wow, I actually got all the condos in Vancouver under 500K. You know, they click on it and then you force them for their information. Bada bing, bada boom, um, you got a lead. So uh, that's really it in terms of extensions. Um, next up, we're gonna talk about how to actually optimize your website, uh, which um, I actually really alluded to right here. So uh, that's a really important part is continuity, which I love to talk about. So that'll be in the next video and I'll link to that here in the description. As always, everyone, smash that like button if you enjoyed that video. And if you feel like subscribing and supporting my channel, I'd love you for it. Um, in the description, you'll find a link to my lead generation webinar. If you haven't already checked that out, uh, we'll talk a little bit about our online program at the end. If you want to uh, increase the amount of training you get from us and join the program and do all things like this. So anyways, I will see you in the next video.